Welcome back, outdoor enthusiasts. We're just at shopguy.com, and today we're in the outdoors. In this video, two binocular brands will go in head to head. We have the Bushnell Fusion X Rangefinder and the Nikon 7577 Monarch. Binoculars are one of the items an avid outdoor or nature enthusiast can live without. Looking at and basking the beauty of nature in its most glorious moments is simply a breathtaking experience, and what better way to do this than with a good pair of binoculars? Whether you're into bird watching, observing animals, looking at flora from afar, or if you simply want to see where the path ahead leads you to, a good pair of binoculars is the way to do it. In today's brand wars, we have picked our two strongest competitors from our binoculars review seen below, the Bushnell Fusion X Rangefinder and the Nikon 7577 Monitor. Both of them have earned a 5 batch rating from our team at TrustedShopGuy.com. By the end of the video, only one will be crowned king of the binoculars, so don't miss out on this epic battle. If you're interested in other binoculars that we reviewed, do check out our binocular review video link below. If you want direct links to the products themselves, all these links are also listed below too. So without further ado, let's start the brand wars. The first category that these binoculars will be going toe to toe with is their magnification. The magnification of a binocular is the number beside the X symbol, so if it says 10 and an X after the number, the subject you're seeing magnifies by 10 times. The optimal magnification ranges from 7 to 12, but anything beyond that will make it hard to manage without any tripod. Both the Bushnell and Nikon have 10 times magnification, making them identical in this category. They're also within the 7 to 12 times magnification range, making for great portable companions. The facts speak for themselves, which is why we'll be giving them both one point in this round. The second category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their objective lens diameter. The objective lens is the one on the opposite side of the eyepiece. The size of the lens is essential as it determines the amount of light entering the binoculars. Simply put, you'll be seeing better images under low-light conditions if you have a larger diameter objective lens. The lens size is stated in millimeters and comes after the X, as stated in the previous category. Let's say, for instance, between an 8x25 and an 8x40 lens, the latter has a larger diameter, creating a brighter and better image. The Bushnell and Nikon are identical in this category, with both their objective lenses measuring 40mm in diameter. Just like the previous round, we have ended up in a tie yet again. The third category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their lens quality and coating. The lens coating is essential, as it reduces the amount of light reflected, allowing the maximum amount of light to enter. The quality of the lens, on the other hand, ensures that the image is aberration-free and has good contrast. The best lenses work great in areas with low light conditions, as they transmit more lights. They also prevent the colors from being distorted or washed down. The Bushnell Fusion X Rangefinder features exo-barrier technology, ensuring that your field of view is clear and bright even in low light settings. The Nikon 7577 Monarch, on the other hand, is equipped with fully multi-coated eco-glass lenses that provide maximum resolution and light transmission. As the binocular pioneer, this round goes to Bushnell with their Exo Barrier technology, which would be the favorable choice for outdoor enthusiasts. The fourth category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their field of view. Simply put, the larger the field of view, the more your eyes can see at a distance. In general, good quality binoculars have a field of view between 300 and 375 feet at 1,000 yards. The Bushnell boasts a 305 feet field of view at 1,000 yards, overpowering the Nikon with only a 288 feet field of view. With Bushnell having the larger field of view, it's no doubt that they win this round by landslide. The fifth category that these two brands will be going toe to toe with is their weight and eye strain. One important factor that you must look into before buying a binocular is its weight. If you're going to be using the binoculars for a longer time, the lighter and more portable option would be the ideal one. The Bushnell weighs 35 ounces, which proves to be a bit bulkier than its competitor. Nikon at 21.6 ounces. When used over time, the lighter of the two options makes for the favorable choice, which is why we'll be given this round to Nikon. The sixth and final category that these two brands will be going toe to toe with is their waterproof properties. Binoculars are widely used outdoors, so they must have some degree of waterproofing. While most regular models can stay under limited amounts of water for a couple of minutes, the high-end models can emerge undamaged after a few hours underwater. The Bushnell has a water-resistant rating of IPX7, meaning that it can be submerged up to 1 meter of water for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, the Nikon is nitrogen-filled and O-ring sealed, making it completely waterproof and fogproof. We're sending this category with yet another tie since both are highly water-resistant and can be used safely outside in the wettest situations. 
This was an extremely tight match between the Bushnell Fusion X rangefinder and the Nikon 7577 Monarch, but there can only be one that will be crowned king in today's video. The pioneer binocular brand Bushnell wins this match with a total of 5 points, while its competitor Nikon only earns 4 points. Don't count Nikon out just yet though, they really brought the fight to the binocular pioneer Bushnell, proving that the Nikon 7577 Monarch is undoubtedly a powerful pair of binoculars in their own right. And there you have it folks, the battle between the Bushnell Fusion X rangefinder and the Nikon 7577 Monarch has finally ended. If you have any contenders for our next binocular face-off, which you would like our team to test, do drop it in the comments section below and we'll be sure to assess them for our next update. If you like this video and it helps you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our outdoors great. We look forward to seeing you at the trustedshopguy.com again soon.